Today, we get to have one of our very own practitioners, team members, Unicol with us. And we're gonna uh, talk, well, one, we gotta talk about a lot of things about you as a person and everything and, you know, just tremendous human with so many different like offshoots of energetic like awareness and even to the point where she's very interesting because she's even started her own cult. Right? So, I mean, we're going to get into a lot of different things today, but the main topic and the focus for today is non, non-binary and the end of duality. And I think that, you know, this is a topic that's popping up everywhere right now, right? You know, a few years ago, n- nobody ever talked about it. And then all of a sudden, I really feel like it, 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 maybe even like the last six months to a year, it's been like this in in infusion into society of people taking and pulling away, you know, the gender pronouns and really having this, you know, kind of stance of, you know, I'm ending this social construct or this way or this view. And so let's talk about it. Let's talk about you first though. Yeah, um, I'm Unicol Unicron. I'm a pop star cult leader. So I make pop music. I started a cult and I am a star seed. So I'm from space. I'm an alien in a human body. And I, um, I think in 2017, um, decided, realized that I'm, um, that I'm gender nonconforming or non-binary. And so there's a lot of different terms and a lot of different ways that people relate to gender and, and like express themselves. My initial, um, response to this whole like movement was like I'm non-conforming because I recognize that gender is only a restriction it Mm -hmm. doesn't actually help us at all so the way that I see it is like if you decide like if you're raised as a boy and you're like well I like trucks if that's authentic and you grow up that's great that's true and that can be beneficial to you Mm -hmm. but it's not a free way of being because it's actually restricting in every other way in all the ways that um, that girls are taught to like like stuff. And if you don't align with your gender that you're given, then that's even even more disruption to your life. So I realized kind of that gender itself is just this social expectation that we put on people um, <clears throat> that doesn't necessarily align with who they are. And so my idea is like, we should all just be free to be who we are. And if you identify as whatever, you should be free to like different colors, different things, be in different fields, you know, have different interests, be more, you know, some people are very loving and caring and like, um, and like nurturing. It's not always just women, you know, and some women are not nurturing or caring, you know, so to associate these things to gender is like entrapping, I think. But what about the like physical science of the gender? Yeah, so gender is a social construct. Um, that's sex. So we talk about two different things. We okay. talk about sex because yeah, a lot your... of people get really confused, right? Totally, and, like, and it's well, a valid question. Yeah. And it's like, um, and it's really important to talk about. The thing that I'd like to point to as well is that intersex people are actually very common. There's as many intersex people born um, as there are redheads. So when you think about that, um, oftentimes gender reassignment surgery or um, it's, I guess you can call it gender reassignment or reassignment surgery, they basically will manipulate children's genitals if they don't completely conform to one sex or the other. Interesting. Um, and then they never tell the kid about that. They were just born with somewhere in the middle between having a clear identified penis or having a clear identified vagina. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of times those people grow up confused because they have a different genetic makeup or they have different, you know, a different alignment than... Um, because it was chose for it them. It was chosen for them and they never were told. And then, and we aren't really told that there is this third sex. I, if I'm going to work in an office, like I put on a certain like business person mask, you yeah. know, and if I am hanging out with my family, I put on like, you know, my parents, I put on like the child, like I'm your kid mask, you know? And it's not a mask, it's just an aspect of ourselves. But... Um, we like to separate ourselves into these things. And what I see for the future is less of, okay, I am a, um, you know, this, 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 and this, you know, I'm all these different labels I could give myself about my race, about my heritage, mm-hmm. about my sexuality, about my orientation, about all these things. And, and I would like in the future just to be like, I'm unical. Mm-hmm. And then all those things are just appreciated and understood and I don't have to explain them to anyone. And it's just, 
It's just like more of a free, a freedom of like, we understand that each person is a completely unique set of energies. Right. And then you're not pigeonholed either. Right. Or, okay. And what else do you want to share before we wrap up today? Um, I'm trying to open a robot brothel. Okay. Currently looking for investors. <laughs> so if anybody wants to throw 250000 roughly my way. Yeah. Let me uh, open a robot brothel in West Hollywood. We, we will be rich. <laughs> <laughs> and talk to, uh, tell people, I mean, like, you've you've designed, like, um, you've been the person that engineered, well, not engineered, but you were the, the speaking force behind some robots and stuff. So this isn't, like, out on left field. Right. You're taking robotics classes. You, you know, wrote the dialogue for robots that are, you know, interacting with humans. So, I mean, this is literally up your field, you know, yeah. like, so share a little bit so people know, because you are throwing that out there, too. Yeah, I'm a robot ethicist, so I am concerned mostly with robot-human interactions and how they benefit us and also robots in the future um, in the event that they are sentient.